Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug cloxacillin. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Cloxacillin is an antibiotic, meaning it inhibits the growth of or destroys bacteria. More specifically, cloxacillin belongs to the penicillin class of antibiotics. Before we get into how penicillins work, let's very quickly review two different types of cells. Bacteria are single-celled or unicellular organisms that can cause disease, and often look something like this. As you can see, bacteria have cell walls and cell membranes. This makes them different from human cells, which only have cell membranes but lack cell walls. So the way that penicillins work is by inhibiting cell wall synthesis in susceptible bacteria, basically preventing the bacteria from growing their cell walls. And without a cell wall, bacterial cells become very vulnerable and quickly die off. This way, penicillins do not affect regular human cells like blood cells, muscle cells, etc., but only bacterial cells. Cloxacillin is considered a narrow-spectrum antibiotic, which means that its uses are somewhat limited when compared to a broad-spectrum antibiotic. However, cloxacillin is indicated for the treatment of beta-hemolytic streptococcal, pneumococcal, and staphylococcal infections, including beta-lactamase-producing organisms. Some of the possible side effects of cloxacillin include diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, and superinfection. Superinfections are infections occurring after or on top of another infection, and are thought to be caused by damage to the host flora which normally prevent the growth of pathogenic organisms. Antibiotic-associated diarrhea, which is usually three or more loose, watery stools per day, is common when starting penicillin antibiotics and should improve once the antibiotic is completed. About 1-10% to of people report allergic reactions to penicillin, commonly skin rashes and anaphylactic reactions occur in approximately 0.01 to 0.05% of clients. Although rare, cloxacillin may cause a darkened or black tongue, which is harmless and should go away after treatment is complete, so it is important to maintain good oral hygiene. Do not use cloxacillin in clients with a penicillin allergy. Use cautiously in clients with low creatinine clearance or liver disease, as cloxacillin dose may need to be decreased to accommodate for poor drug elimination. Elderly clients may also require lower dosing. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of cloxacillin. Teach clients to complete the full course of therapy, usually 10 to 14 days, even if symptoms improve. Due to the common side effect of diarrhea, remember to increase fluid intake while taking cloxacillin to prevent dehydration. Epinephrine, alongside antihistamines and corticosteroids, are often administered for treatment of anaphylaxis. Dosing for cloxacillin varies greatly, but it is often administered orally at 250 to 500 milligrams every six hours. And lastly, always watch for drug-to-drug -drug interactions with cloxacillin. And that's about it for the basics of cloxacillin. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.